we are asked to rationalize the denominator. Here we have the square root of 2x divided by 3y. The first step is to write the square root of the fraction as the square root of the numerator divided by the square root of the denominator. So the given expression is equal to the square root of 2x divided by the square root of 3y. Now for the next step, to rationalize the denominator, we need the denominator to simplify perfectly. Notice right now we have the square root of one factor of three and one factor of y. We need the radicand to be a perfect square, so we should be thinking they would simplify perfectly if we had the square root of two factors of three and two factors of y. Notice here, three times three or three squared is a perfect square, and so is y times y or y squared. And therefore this simplifies to one factor of three, one factor of y or three y. And therefore, if we want the denominator to simplify perfectly, we need to multiply by the square root of three y, which will give us a radicand that contains two factors of three and two factors of y. But to create an equivalent expression, we must also multiply the numerator by the same square root. We multiply the numerator by the square root of three y as well. Now let's go ahead and multiply. Looking at the denominator first, we have the square root of three y times three y Let's just write that as three times three times y times y. In the numerator we have the square root of two x times three y. Let's write that as two times three times x times y. And now looking at the denominator, we can now simplify because three times three is a perfect square and so is y times y. So focusing on the denominator, the square root of three times three or three squared is equal to one factor of three the square root of y times y or y squared is equal to one factor of y. The denominator is now three y, which is considered rational. And now looking at the numerator, we can see nothing simplifies here. We still have the square root of six xy. The expression is now simplified, or we can say the denominator is now rationalized. Let's look at a second example. Here we have the square root of five x divided by 18 y, which is equal to the square root of five x divided by the square root of 18 y. But notice how in this example we can simplify the square root of 18 y, so let's do that first. The square root of 18 y is equal to, well 18 is equal to two times nine, nine's a perfect square. Let's write this as the square root of nine times two y, and because the square root of nine is equal to three, this simplifies to three square root two y. So let's write the expression as the square root of five x divided by three square root two y. And now let's focus on rationalizing the denominator. And again, we should be thinking if we had two factors of two and two factors of y under the square root, the square root would simplify perfectly and the denominator would be rationalized. So for this example, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of two y. So multiplying in the numerator, we have the square root of five x times two y. Let's write that as two times five times x times y. In the denominator, we have three times the square root of two y times two y, which gives us two factors of two and two factors of y. And two times two or two squared is a perfect square, and so is y times y or y squared. So simplifying, we can see nothing simplifies in the numerator. The numerator is the square root of 10xy. In the denominator, we have three times the square root of two times two, or two squared is two, and the square root of y times y or y squared is equal to y, and three times two y is six y. The final simplified expression is the square root of 10xy divided by six y. Again, this is simplified, or we can say the denominator is now rationalized. I hope you found this helpful.